the campus rape myth. Huh. Again, the diversity delusion. Quote, <clears throat> the campus rape industry's central tenet is that one-fifth to one-quarter of all college girls will be raped or become the targets of attempted rape by the end of their college years. No crime, much less one as serious as rape, has a victimization rate remotely approaching yes. 20 or 25 percent, close quote. Explain. It's a complete fraud. Detroit is our most violent city. If you combine all four of the violent felonies that the FBI collects in its index crime, that's murder, rape, robbery, and aggravated assault, you combine all of those together, you get an annual violent crime rate of 2%. One quarter to one, 20 percent to one quarter, even over four years, is more than the worst African Civil War's experience in terms of sexual violence. If this were going on, you would have seen a stampede decades ago to get females out of these tsunamis of sexual violence. No mother would send her daughter into a situation of that degree of sexual predation. Instead, the stampede, Peter, as I'm sure you observe at Stanford every year, is the opposite direction. It's highly sophisticated, educated right. mothers paying $200 an hour when their daughter is three years old to try and qualify her for the most elite preschool in order to hope that she gets into Harvard 16 years later. The, the percentage of females on college campuses grows each year. The, the admissions ratios diminish because so many people want to get in. The whole thing is ridiculous. Either if we're supposed to believe in strong women together and that there's female solidarity, why aren't they warning each other off of these scenes of sexual predation? Instead, you can go to University of Virginia every Saturday night on Rugby Road. The girls are, 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 are walk, trooping off to the frat parties that the sexual, the campus rape industry tells us are virtual rape factories. And yet they go every Saturday night. What gives? Either girls are stupid and they are voluntarily walking into these scenes of predation or it's not going on. Again, the diversity delusion. <clears throat> the default for premarital sex in the wider society is now yes rather than no. We've had the sexual revolution. Right. The policy of mutual consent that these bureaucracies on campus are putting in place may be laughably out of touch with reality, but its agenda is serious to rehabilitate the no as the default position for premarital sex, close quote. Yep. So, so what? So the college, what we see on the colleges is a reaction against the sexual revolution, not that the bureaucracies would ever dream of putting it anything like that exactly. way. Exactly. Is that so? Exactly. I, I mean, I think what's going on is sexual liberation is having a nervous breakdown. Uh, it, it, it turns out that it made a profoundly incorrect assessment about the male and female libidos. It thought that the female libido was ready to go mano a mano with the male libido, you know, all normative, all normative restraints taken away, and that females would celebrate a regime of one night stand, casual sex, drunken hookup sex, the way the males do, who want to have as much no strings attached sex as possible. They're set up biologically, evolutionarily for that. Uh, and it turns out that's not the case. There is not an epidemic of sexual assault and rape on college campuses. There is an epidemic of regret, uh. of feeling taken advantage of, of feeling like, well, I have some emotional twinge after that one night stand that females feel. They have a different physiological re reaction to sexual intercourse. The guy's off there joking around with his buds, and she's saying, well, why isn't he noticing me in class? And the campus rape bureaucracy then gives you a nice way of repackaging your sense of loss, confusion, embarrassment, regret. It was rape. Uh, and before... When, before sexual liberation did a number on civilization's eons-long, hard-won understanding of the differences between males and females, the default for premarital sex was set at no. Right. That gave females power 
over the male. The male had to bargain the female out of the no default. Sexual revolution turned that around. The default is now yes, and it's up to the female to argue her way into a no, and that is tough. And, and a women lot of are females, sick of that. Yeah, they're sick of it, and they just say, oh, well, it's a lot easier to just say yes than to have to provide reasons why not to have sex. But the weird thing is, you know, the sexual liberation on campuses began with a demand, get the bureaucrats out of our bedroom. We want to have all the coitus we want un, un, unsupervised. Now, these same students are asking the bureaucracy to write 40-page extremely complicated rules for sex, which is the very realm of the chthonic and irrational. And Heather writes of her fellow conservatives in the diversity delusion, conservatives display exasperation at, the sex, at sex regulations for taking the fun out of college sex. Conservatives get this wrong. Yes. In fact, taking the fun out of college sex is the only upside to the whole sordid situation. <laughs> That's true. There's no downside. You know. I, I get and I agree that the, the campus rape tribunals are kangaroo courts and males are being railroaded. Nevertheless, just as a girl can avoid 100% what is now characterized as campus rape by not drinking herself blotto and getting into bed with a guy she doesn't know and taking off her clothes, a guy can also almost 100% avoid being accused falsely of campus rape by acting with chivalry and as a gentleman, you walk your girlfriend home at night, you kiss her good night, and you go home to your own room and you write her a love poem at 2 a.m. Uh, there is no downside if this campus rape hysteria and the crusade against males results in a sudden increase in abstinence. It's not as if we're like overregulating production of I'm natural gonna, gas. I'm going to read this because it may be my favorite quotation in the, in the entire book, which is full of marvelous writing. The Thank solution you. is not more complex procedural protections cobbled over a sordid sexual culture. The solution is to reject that culture entirely. Society has no interest in preserving the collegiate bacchanal. <laughs> Should college fornication become a rare event preceded by signing contracts, maybe students would actually do some studying again. Exactly. By the way, you, there must be some special award somewhere for the, the, most, the last unselfconscious use of the word fornication. 